What makes a video look professional? The cinematography, the storytelling, the color correction, but it's also about your workflow. The tricks you are using while editing a video are also very important and can easily affect the final result. So today we are talking about 5 editing tricks in Movavi Video Editor Plus that will make your video look professional. Also keep watching till the end of the video so you won't miss 2 more tips. Let's go! Let's say you're editing a music video or a b-roll sequence. Both require a music track, of course, and cutting your shots to the beats might be time-consuming. So let's drag a few shots onto the timeline to the first video track and the music track to the first audio track. And what you can do now, you can use the split tool or use the shortcut Control b to split a video or an audio track. Let's listen to the music. And I want to make a cut at this moment, when we hear the first massive beat. But first, I want the software to remember where the beat is. So I press this little flag icon or press Ctrl M. Now we can add a name to the marker and split or trim our clip exactly at this moment. This is the first way how you can do it. The second way is much faster and you can do it by using the Beat Detection tool. Go to All Tools section in the left panel, then go to Audio Editing and here you can see the Beat Detection tool. Click on it and press Detect Audio Beats. The video editor will automatically detect the beats in your audio and if you move the slider, the amount of the markers will increase or decrease. So move the slider depending on how intense you want your edit to be. Now when you start trimming the clip, it will immediately snap at the markers. Let's take a look at our quick edit. Pretty useful when you want to make a quick montage. I have some good news for you guys. The Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021 and the Click the Bell Effects Pack will be available at the additional 50% discount. Movavi Video Editor Plus is the perfect software to bring your creative ideas to life and share them with the world. Every tool is right where you'd expect it to be. So even if you've never tried to edit videos before, it will take you no more than 20 minutes to master this video editor and start editing like a pro. And with the help of the Click the Bell Effects Pack, you'll be able to make your visuals even more eye-catching. Click on the links in the description or the pinned comment below to redeem your coupon code. Almost every video needs a good-looking text, so let's create one. I will drag a background for our text onto the timeline and I will add the text by going to the title section, featured and simple text. Drag it onto the timeline as well, double click the text and I will type in Movavi. And as you can see, it's not looking impressive at all because the text is white and the sky is very bright. We need to create depth for the image to look better. First, I'm gonna change the font. That's better. Now select the background layer, go to filters and find the blur section. Here you can see a bunch of presets that will create some different styles of blur. The Boca blur presets are my favorites, but I'm going for the tilt shift look. Here we have the tilt shift bottom, tilt shift middle and tilt shift top. We need to focus on the central part, so I will select the tilt shift middle. If you want to control the intensity of the blur, you can go to the clip properties, applied effects and move the slider to control the intensity. I will leave it at 10%. Looking better, but we still haven't fixed the skyline's brightness. Go to the color adjustments, advanced and bring down the highlights a bunch, so we start getting this contrast between the two layers. I like how it looks. To make it more interesting, let's add some movement to the text as well. Find the animation section and click on add animation. You will see the two keyframes that you should drag to the beginning and to the end of the clip. Double click the last keyframe and rotate it counterclockwise. And also scale it a little bit. Now we have the good looking inception style animation. If you want to find more animations, you can find a bunch of presets in the titles section. Talking about keyframes, let's talk about one or actually two photo tricks that I use all the time. I got a photo that is more narrow than the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I don't like how it looks because it has these black bars on the left and the right part of the frame. So the first way how you can fix this, go to the filters section and in the adjustments find the vertical fill. Drag it onto your photo and now it looks much better. But let's say you're doing some sort of a slideshow for example. And instead of having a still photo, I suggest adding a slight movement to it. As we did with the text animation, go to the animation section and add two keyframes 
keyframes on the photo. From here you can do this slight zoom in animation for example. But don't limit yourself with this, try different kinds of movements. That way you can make your photo presentation more interesting. Now the audio is really important, but how you mix the audio is even more critical. Let's say you have a few audio tracks and you want to mix these pieces together so it sounds nice and smooth. Instead of cutting them straight together on the single audio track, you should bring one of the parts down on the second track and extend the part. Now what you can do is right click and select add volume point. Right click again and add the second volume point. Then bring one of the points down and to the beginning of the track and the second point to the end of the top track. That way you can mix two parts of an audio track together having a smooth transition. Check this out. But don't forget to make sure that the beats are in sync. Also this technique is useful when you start or end a video and you want to have this smooth fade in or fade out. Believe me, this trick alone will bring your videos to a whole nother level. It's time for two bonus tricks and the first trick is about using the link track function. When you edit a video you might notice at some point that you can't move the bottom clip, it's like attached to the beginning. Also if you try to move the top clip it also seems attached to the first clip, but it's very straightforward to fix the problem. On the first video track click on this arrow icon and now you can move it wherever you want. But you can still notice that the top two tracks are still connected to the bottom track. To disconnect them just click this link icon on each track. The second bonus trick is about the new feature highlight and conceal. This feature allows you to track an object or a face and use one of the available masks to highlight or conceal it. There is a shot of me talking to the camera and in all tools section find the highlight and conceal. You can select the face with the mask then go to the mask properties and here you can change the amount of the blur and also add the outline if you need to. And then in the motion menu choose a tracking mode, quick or precise. I suggest using the precise mode unless your computer is not so powerful. And then just click on track. Here you go, now you can go back to the masks menu and change the mask type at any time you want. When you color grade your footage it's always helpful to add some visual accents to your shots. One of those accents can be the vignette effect. In the Movavi Video Editor Plus you can add this effect very fast. Go to the filters section and look for vignettes. Try each of them out and once you're happy go to the clip properties, applied effects and here you can change the intensity of the effect. If you want to learn more about video making process please check out one of this videos, hit a like if you found this video helpful, subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time.